another brutal cold night ahead, so prepare. Yeah, so we had front number one come mm -hmm. through last night. There is a second stronger one that comes through tonight. So wind chills tomorrow morning, actual temperatures tomorrow morning even colder. Sub-zero possible across that Kentucky tier. Now, as a result, we have had some schools delayed and closed due to weather. Most of them are still due to illness, though. So take a look at the Snow Watch map. Stewart County closed for the rest of the week due to illness. Sumner County is the most recent one to come in for weather. So folks in Sumner County, you are closed tomorrow, and that's because of concerns for wind chill. Same thing up in Christian County because of how unbelievably cold it is expected to get tonight. Actual temperatures hovering, barely holding on to low teens in across that northern tier. It's that wind chill. It's that feels like factor that will be so bitterly cold around 7 a.m. tomorrow. Coldest spots for areas to the northwest because that's where the cold front comes first, right? Wind chill advisories actually extend across most of northern parts of Kentucky up towards the St. Louis area. This does include Bowling Green, but it doesn't include the rest of our Kentucky tier. That being said, just because we're not in the advisory doesn't mean wind chills near zero or even colder than that aren't significant as you start your Wednesday. Here's a look at that cold front. You can really pick it out with wind direction, but also with temperatures. Almost 30 in Paducah, 19 in St. Louis. Now with this cold front, there is a little bit of moisture, not much, but it's enough that there are some snow showers falling across the St. Louis area. And as that energy works towards us tonight, it's possible that we'll get a quick dusting closer to the Kentucky tier because the air mass is so cold. There won't be any difficulty for a flurry or a brief snowflake to make it down to the ground. And because the surfaces are so cold, they won't have any trouble sticking. So it's possible that you may have a quick coating if you live in that northern tier, maybe on your windshield tomorrow morning or the back deck. But there isn't enough moisture with this to expect significant widespread accumulations. That being said, any snowflakes on an elevated surface during the overnight hours could lead to some slippery spots. The main threat remains the cold weather. We just have to get through the next 36 hours before we can really start to warm up. That front clears us. We've got more sunshine by tomorrow afternoon, but the cold air that filters in on the backside, it'll have more bite tomorrow than it did today. We were in the low 30s this afternoon. We won't make it into the 30s tomorrow. Top temperatures, mid 20s at best. And of course, you know the wind chill. It's going to make it feel even colder than that. Teens for most of the day for your feels like factor Wednesday night into Thursday. That's our low point. Coldest night so far of the season, bottoming out at 10 in Nashville, just 10. That'll be widespread single digits outside the city. If there's some good news Thursday morning, the wind will be lighter, Carrie. So even though our actual temperatures will be colder, the wind chill won't be quite as low. And by Thursday afternoon, we finally touch 40.